Okay, so it looks as if the British media and other media have now turned on Kate. Apparently they're digging up stories in regards to this whole period or these years where she was waiting on William. And they're calling her, instead of Waity Katie, they're calling her, um, they're making her out to be somewhat of a stalker. This is very, very interesting, okay? For some reason, the media have turned on Kate. Listen to this guy. He is um, Ministry of Hacks UK. He is on TikTok. Go and support his channel. But let me just play a little bit of what he has to say here. Oh, let me just show you his page first of all, okay? All right, and as you can see, that's Kate up there. All right, so I have done quite a few videos um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any more, but basically uh, the videos that I have done have illustrated to you that Kate is much more than just a pretty face. She's much more than just, you know, the princess and Williams, you know, his wife and just, you know, she's much more than the very bland uh, royal family would like us to believe, okay? Kate's past and Kate's present is extremely spicy and very, very colorful. And uh, I don't know if people really can appreciate that. But anyway, I'll play you Ministry of Hacks here, okay? And he'll give you kind of more information in regards to what's going on with the media right now. I'll pull a few cards as well, okay? The weekend is in sight. Happy 1st of August. You know the score. Come at me if you like. I really don't care, but comments are open. The British digital media continue to recycle, to dig up stories like this one from 2008, which, quite frankly, are painting Kate in a really poor light. What is happening? What do you think? Why are the British digital media recycling all this old stuff that makes Kate seem like a bit of a gold digger. Anyway, she's searching for their first home and won't accept anywhere owned by the royals. Uh, their first real home together was rented, so I suppose she got that. As she tightens her grip on the prince, who tried to dump her, will this year see the triumph of Waity Katie? Oh, it just seems to me, and I might be wrong, so let me know in the comments that Kate is being portrayed Famous. now as some sort of clingy villain that William couldn't avoid. Like it was his. Okay, so you see the play. The play is she clung on to William. She wasn't just waiting, she was actually stalking him. This is what the media is trying to say. Now, why, after all of these years, should the media take this angle? Why? Why now? Well, it's because they're separated and they're about to be divorced. That's why. So they're going to make it look as if, um, you know, William really didn't really want to be with her in the first place. You know what I mean? It's because she kind of hung on to him and had her hooks into him and this type of thing where, you know, it became kind of inevitable that the two of them would get together. www.celestialtarotreadings.com for your psychic tarot readings. Let me pull three cards on how Kate was before she married the dude. Okay, hold on. So I've got the Archetype Tarot here by Caroline Miss. Very, very good deck. If you have been around on this channel, you would have seen me use this deck before. We pull three cards in regards to how Kate was, okay? And um, you, the energy around her, the energy that she was given when she was weighty Katie, when the likes of these articles were being put out, okay? First card. Wow, king here in reverse. So is this saying that William wasn't interested in her, didn't really want her to be his wife? We've got king here in reverse. 
okay, didn't think, William, Prince William, didn't think that Kate was the person that he should be with, or for some reason he wouldn't become king if he married her. Whoa, is this some kind of prophecy or what? King in reverse. The shadow side of this is that there's excessive feelings of entitlement and rulership without restraint. The energy here is that he didn't feel like she was good for him. He didn't feel like she was the type of person that could control him. <laughs> Boy, British men. <laughs> British men do like to be babied, you know. You know that? They like to be baby. They like for someone to be like mommy. Keep them in check. Keep them under control. You know, someone who has those skills. They look like, you know, wait. They look like Kate was so kind of gun ho and uh, eager. Well, her mother was eager for her to marry the guy. That she was kind of whatever you like. You know, what do you like? I like whatever you like. What do you want to do? I want to do whatever you want to do. She wasn't really assertive with him and William felt that he needed an assertive woman. <laughs> Boy, next card. Judge in reverse. Ah, shit. And virgin. It's come up upright. Let me get a clarification card <laughs> for Virgin. Oh, and I'll get it. I'll take it straight from here from the archetype there. Oh, artist in reverse. This is about creativity. So look, if uh, if one of your uh, if you know somebody and they said vet this person here for me. Tell me about the character of this person. We got um, the Virgin card upright, and then we also have the clarification of, of um, artist, okay? <laughs> in the reverse, meaning there's some kind of lie or creativity in regards to the person's status. So here we have a situation where William married somebody who did not fit, fulfill or fit the same criteria that Princess Diana fulfilled for Charles. When Charles married Diana, she was a virgin. And that was very much the thing people were talking about in the 80s, that King Charles needed to marry a virgin. No matter the fact that Prince Charles, Charles had been out there and actually nearly married this black American woman called Sheila Fergus, Ferguson, who was part of the Three Degrees. Charles more than sold his royal oats, and y'all know that he was with Camilla as well. But in regards to William and Kate, this virgin came up card came up upright, meaning that he wanted a virgin, and that uh, uh, he must have known. And the artist card here in reverse, the creativity thing, meaning. Whatever the artist is drawing is not really believable or perhaps it's not very pleasing or perhaps it's very ugly or there's some kind of creative situation in regards to the status of being a virgin. Meaning that he, made, meaning that even if Kate did not have relations, sexual relations with, with William before they got married, when they were dating, if they didn't really fully date and were physically intimate, then William, she may have told William that she was a virgin and William didn't really believe her. Hence why, you see, because the thing, the thing was, she was waiting on him, but he was with other people. So in, in actual fact, it do look like she was stalking him <laughs> and not taking no for an answer. We have judge here in reverse and we have king in reverse. So we've already talked about king in reverse in regards to whether she, he felt that she was suitable for him. But also we got judge here as well, which you can kind of take as a clarification for this situation. What does that mean, Miss Sam? It means that he didn't want people to judge him. He didn't want to be judged by his peers. It's not about what we thought. We, the British public, it wasn't about that. What it was about, 
and, and the rest of the world. What it was about is that um, he didn't want folks to judge him. What kind of girl is this? She'd been out there, she'd been on the scene. Is she a virgin? She's not like your mother. She's not chaste and she's not quiet. She don't read books. She's out there partying. She's wearing stockings, stockings are torn. She's, you know, legs are kimbo and all this type of thing inside of the, uh, the, the car and whatever else, that, you know, whenever they go somewhere. She'd been up and down with different guys before. There's rumors about her yachting and all this type of thing with Uncle Andrew. They also come to find out this lady called Miss Sam has done quite a few readings on her. And it looks like she had contact with the likes of Thomas Kingston and, and that lot. They're kind of foreign diplomatic attache and all this type of thing. And that her and her sister, the Middleton sisters, the you know, Oh, you know, followed this very, very British tradition of being a, a social... I mean, Jackie O and her sister, what was her name? Lee Radzawell? Same, same. Same, same. When Jackie... When John F. Kennedy was assassinated, Jackie O wanted to be with somebody who could give her financial security, but not just any old somebody. She wanted to be with somebody who... Uh, could impress her with his intellect and and also someone kind of masculine and strong but also somebody who had a bit of a name for themselves and she picked this guy who she knew was embroiled <laughs> embroiled in this um affair long-term affair with an opera singer and so this it was a greek opera tragedy thing that Jackie O decided was financially exciting enough for her to get involved in that and of course it did pay off because she made millions by marrying this guy called Aristotle Anassis. So her and her sister Lee Radzawell, the mother and the father, um, uh, Jackie Kennedy's mother and father and Lee's uh, mother and father sent them to all the places that you're supposed to send your kid to when you want them to marry somebody rich and um, she met JFK and basically sucked onto him from then and even though JFK had affairs and he had girlfriends and this type of thing she was willing to wait she didn't wait as long as Katie did but in the time that Katie was waiting Katie was very very active now she's come off the scene again and she's still active but just not in front of our very eyes. She has had this resurgence of, of uh, I wouldn't say resurgence at all, she has uh, become somebody completely different She, as you've seen from my videos if you've watched them. Some of them are members only so you have to become a member to watch those videos now. Okay? Uh, but yeah, basically that's the situation. Okay, so William didn't want to marry her in the first place. This is not to, this is not to excuse William and his carryings on. Okay, but he didn't want to marry her. All right, and waity Katie, it looked like she was actually Katie the stalker, and she stalked this uh, future king of England, who really had other ideas. Ashe.